Now, we all know that Israel Folau has caused a bit of a stir by sharing his fundamentalist Christian attitudes to homosexuality online. And the LGBTQI community's got something to say about it. Amongst that rainbow tribe, Christchurch mum and activist Suran Dixon. As Rachel Parkin explains, she certainly is a force to be reckoned with. At home, she's just mummy. <laughs> Pseudo dada and all the glamorous stuff. Can you come here so I can wipe your nose, please? Yeah, no. Goes without saying. Bit of everything, aren't they, Sonny? So you don't hire a hubby to mow the lawns? <laughs> or... <laughs> uh, no, no. Okay, so I'm winding her up. See if there's one thing this gay single mama hates it's gender stereotyping. Just as bad and just as damaging, Saran says. Is homophobia. I think boys we bring up to be powerful, girls we teach to be pretty and often to be passive. He as a boy has got more chance of going to prison, he's got more chance of committing assault, he's got more chance of having uh, com committing suicide. She was living in London when the suicide of a stranger, British teen Dominic Crouch, changed the course of her life. Dominic's father, who Saran had struck up a connection with, following suit 18 months later. Just terribly sad, I always say that it's a family of four cut in half due to homophobia and there's every chance none of them were gay. Saran was so moved, she quit teaching and vowed to stand up. And within six months, Diversity Role Models was born. I just thought if, there are, if kids have no role models, um, teachers who are openly gay, how do they ever get over their prejudice? And we took LGBT role models into schools along with straight allies. Turns out she doesn't do things by halves. This was her charity launch. Yep, in the House of Commons and yes with Theresa May. And this is Gareth Thomas, the first openly gay rugby international. Shiran Dixon's with us. She's an expert in running workshops tackling homophobic bullying. Power 50, Britain's most influential gay woman. No big deal. Then, though, came another calling, that maternal one. Just one thing missing. Yeah. <laughs> Swimmers. Q, good mate. Yes, so Scott's a really good friend of mine and um, a, a, an obvious choice. A big move home to Christchurch, just as obvious. I just love being out in the hills running and I love, you know, surfing again. And as if two-year-old Sunny doesn't keep her busy enough... You ready? Go. Saran's now on a mission to help LGBTI teens here. So I think role modelling is really crucial. Because although we've come a long way in New Zealand, the likes of Aussie rugby star Israel Folau with this post reopen old wounds. If the outcome of your words could cause additional harm to a group of people and you've got a platform, perhaps it might be better not to say it, even if it's your belief. It's pretty hurtful to have that, especially if you're, like, you're a rugby fan yourself yeah. and yeah. you're know, like you're about to come out. Thank goodness for good role models. So Brad Webber, this is the guy that wrote this comment here, uh, saying to think that I play against someone that says they'll go to hell for being gay disgusts me. Yeah, pretty spectacular. These teens just as impressed. And then more good news. This November, in the footsteps of the UK and Australia, New Zealand's first ever LGBTI awards. It creates a tipping point where everyone else realises actually it is time we stood up and, and celebrated. Yeah, we celebrate positive work and we're not bystanders to bullying. What kind of a New Zealand do you want Sonny to grow up in? New Zealand where he has um, the chance of fulfilling his potential regardless of his gender. To be Sunny. To whoever be sunny. sunny is. Exactly, whoever Sunny is. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs>